character designs provided by Demon Artie. Be sure to check her out over on her social media platforms. Links to her Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below. And the party continues because... It's my birthday. And I'm up to episode 9. Um, and this is a pretty fun one. And I didn't expect to see Wally again, or at least not in this aspect. So we got Swamp and Sensibility, which is a play on Sense and Sensibility. And... I, it's uh, the faces. This episode has a lot of funny faces and the big expressions. That's another cool thing about the show I like is the characters are so expressive and they make these really exaggerated looks on their faces. It's just great. I love it. And it just when Anne is like, uh, <laughs> like, like right here, right in the very beginning, we open up and uh, they're 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 still traveling. They're still trying to get to uh, Newtopia. And just right here, just the opening <laughs> shot of Anne. Look at this face. It's just I love it so much. They're watching some movie and it's very uh, Save the Last Dance kind of like the daughter. She doesn't want to do ballet. She wants to do hip hop. I laughed out so loud because it's so ridiculous. Oh, you get it, mother? I know you want me to be a ballerina, but my heart belongs to hip hop. Are you disappointed? And of course, he's like, sorry, mom. I don't want to disappoint you. No, I've always loved you. And it's one of those. Uh, you know, the parents didn't want me to be this way and now I'm going to be, you know, the way I feel true in my heart and they accepted me. It's it's Hollywood. It's not saying that isn't true and your your parents won't accept you, but you got to, it's not, and not everything's a movie. But look at Anne's face. She's like mouthing the words. I absolutely love it. This girl's amazing. So she's like, yeah, wasn't that just great? And then like, uh, this breaks like it's an emotional roller coaster. But look, look at her face. I, I wouldn't say that like a hundred times in this review. I love it so much. But they start like bouncing around like what's going on outside? And I guess the reins broke on Bessie. So Bessie's just going to do whatever she wants to do. She sees a Pokemon out there and then starts chasing after it. And like, wait, we got to get um, get these reins repaired because without them, we can't really control Bessie at all. So I guess there's some place nearby and it is the most posh, rich person. But it's the freaking Scottsdale of... <laughs> amphibia and of course hop hop's like we're not gonna go there everything's big expensive you guys are gonna just no i don't want to go there but they kind of have to they show up and it's like fancy i mean it, and it's very of course uh, almost aristocratic looking people powdered wigs all that good stuff and then looking at it man look at that solid gold uh carriage oh look at all these things and like oh look there's even a fancy wally and then like what and then we see that I guess Wally had a second life, like, you know, uh, he was really a rich person and his bum life was in Wartwood. So they're like, what the heck is Wally doing here? And then he like, you see like this, uh, this other person who's obviously his dad. And they're like, oh, you know, these people? Oh yeah, these are the people I, I met in my travels. She's like, oh, and then they must be your servants. And then they're like, yeah, 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 these are my servants in Wartwood when I was traveling for business. And of course, he's been lying to his dad the whole time. That's the whole, the whole crux of the whole thing is that while he hasn't been truthful about how he wants to live his life, or at least how he lives his life outside of the town. And, you know, then the dad starts talking about like, oh, you know, uh, you know, you're going out there and meeting people. That's such a great thing. And look, you even met this strange looking beast. I would have had it stuffed. <laughs> because everyone sees Anne, they're like, oh, what kind of crazy monster is this? Because in their world, humans would be monsters and never seen anything like this. But I guess he's the heir to like this string empire. I mean, look at, look at that logo. I love it. So, yeah. And he's like, yeah, when I finally retire, Wally's going to take over and he's going to have everything. He's going to be the, the head of the whole entire corporation. And so we see that Wally has like a, you know, super rich lifestyle. And then everyone's like, hmm, what's going on here? Because they can kind of see that Wally's a little nervous about all this. And he's lying and like, oh, yeah, they're my servants. Oh, don't worry, dad. And of course, the father being is he's, he's gracious. He's not a not like a rich, evil person. He's just a rich guy that has a lot of stuff. So he's going to be I don't want to say he's not necessarily helpful, but he's very gracious. He's like, oh, your your looks like your wagon needs repair. I'll I'll have my my guys take care of it. I'm like, oh wow, what a nice dude. It's like, oh, since Wally knows you, gonna you're gonna come to my place. You're gonna stay for dinner. And like, oh yeah, we are. So they want to go check it out. And I mean, look at that face again. <laughs> He's super rich. I mean, look at this. It's like a palace. It's a mansion. And the the these kinds of jokes. I know, um, it's it's almost it's a very rich person thing to have something that could kill you. <laughs> but but it's like my prize winning birds ever seen a frog torn in half by a peacock grizzly stuff 
Uh, quite, quite gruesome. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> the, the way they talk, I love it. So he's like, hey, here's a broom. I know it's it's rather small, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, I hope you can make do the open. It's freaking like the nicest room ever. All these paintings and stuff. Like, oh, wow, this place is great. And even Hot Pop's enjoying it. And the kid's like, hey, Hot Pop, I thought you didn't like all this uh, rich stuff. And he's like, it, it doesn't count if you don't have to pay for it. It's just they're getting everything for free. And they're going to go, let's go explore. So Hot Pop, Polly, and Sprig just take off. And then Anne's there with Wally. And she's not upset with Wally, but she's almost at the point where, like, hey, back in Warwood, I thought we were like bros, you know, like we, we, you know, we were friends and then you had this secret life. You didn't tell anything about us. So just a little bit, you know, but more of like, Hey, what's really going on? And Wally's like, Hey, and you, you know, I'm sorry. Basically I didn't tell anyone, but I don't like this life. Like his name, he's like, he's a rich person, like Wallington or something. He's, I, I like my life in Wartwood, like being a place of my bum life. He actually he likes to live like a vagabond, just like on the land and stuff. And then Nan's like, why don't you just tell your dad? He'll understand. He's like, no, he won't. And I don't, it's my family. It's different. And she's like, well, what about not caring what people thought? Like all the stuff you told me in Wartwood. He's like, yeah, but my dad, like this, it's, it's a little different and I don't want to break his heart and I don't want to like ruin my family. But Anne's like, come on, you know, you really have to tell your you tell your dad about this and, you know, be true to yourself. You know, I guess that's like the message. <laughs> this this whole next scene is completely meaningless, but it's just showing uh, rich people are weird. They're walking around, they get lost. Like, oh, let's just open up random doors. And they're just like opening the doors to like the craziest stuff. There's like a bunch of toads bathing. Like, like it's like a steam room. Like, oh, crap. They open another room and they're like breaking chairs. Like, what? what is going on? You rich people are so weird. And then like this creepy scene, like, this guy's a weirdo. <laughs> then um, we get to uh, Wally. He's like, I'll show you. And, you know, the things I don't want to give up. It's not necessarily, I, I don't hate it here, but I just don't feel like myself. But there are things about it that I love. And they go to the stables and it shows like, uh, I guess he had like a little, like they ride bugs, right? So he's like, yeah, I've been riding here since uh, I was a little girl. Oh, like a little, since she was a little girl. And you see like the painting and like, look how sweet that is. This is the perfect, how it started and how it's going. <laughs> I'm the time the how it's going, like how sad he looks. But Anne's like, oh, geez. But you know, you should really tell your dad. He's like, no, I, I don't want to do that. Just don't, don't worry about it, Anne. Oh, I won't worry about it. Oh, Jesus, Anne. <laughs> Oh, you, you're, you're a sweetheart. I love you, Anne, but my goodness, you just, you, you want to meddle in people's lives. You want to like, like, oh, it's like the movie I watched. Oh God, don't do that. But she gets a, an idea in her head and she ain't going to let it go. Uh, Sprig, Hop Hop and Polly show up and she like, grabbed Sprig. Hey man, we got to tell, uh, I got a plan for the help Wally. And then, then like what I just said, that's that Sprig's like, and that's not a good idea. But it happened in a movie, so it is a good idea. They get called, they go to dinner, and then everyone's eating, and it's very um, super fancy. And I, I thought this was hilarious. I have prepared a special presentation. It talks? Oh, capital. Gonna ignore that. <laughs> it's so rude. It's like casual racism, but then Anne's like, whatever, I'm not gonna even worry about it. Then, in Anne's infinite wisdom, oh, I'm gonna show everyone... Uh, you know, what, what Wally's life was like in Wartwood. And then he's like, what, what, what are you doing? And what are you doing? And it's like him basically being his little vagabond self, you know, just kind of his bummish lifestyle and getting chased by, you get beat up by the cops. And, and it's like, well, here we go. Now everyone's going to accept you. And the father's like, I don't accept you. And then Anne's like, oh crap, I screwed up big time. So he's going to just disown him. He's like, this is how you live your life, Wally, outside of Wart, you know, outside in other places you, you live like a bum and you're, you're a disgrace to the family. And then, uh, this whole scene, just like, okay. I, just like how, Anne. what, what does that mean? Family challenge. Come on, Anne. you've been here long enough. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand, but I guess that's like a challenge, but Wally could be an Olympic rib, uh, ribbon dancer. That was beautiful but i guess that's like a challenge so he's gonna challenge his father if i beat you i can live my life the way i want but if you lose you have to stay here and take over the the, the family business so that's the challenge and as soon as that's been like done uh wally goes and he's like why 
did you do that? Like I didn't. I told you not to do that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but you know, uh, we we can I, we can do this. I can help you. And he's like, no, and you you yeah, helped enough, and you've done enough to my family. Just just I'm gonna take care of this all on my own. So Anne feels super bad for just like forcing this situation. And so they're going to play like a, it's like, it's polo basically, but like one-on-one -on -one polo. And of course, who's this guy? Even the voice, it's, it's freaking Kermit the Frog, which is, he, and the fact that he's like behind a stage and he almost, he even has like puppet-like movements. It's glorious. I absolutely love it. And he's like trying to tell jokes. It's Kermit the Frog 100%. And even Hop Pop's like, oh, this guy's quite the character. So they get to pick their steeds, right? So the dad's like on this giant beetle, like freaking if the four horsemen of the apocalypse rode beetles, this would be death, right? So he chooses this one. And while he chooses his favorite, that the, the one he's been riding since he was little. And the dad's like, well, since you don't want to be part of the family, you can't use the family stuff. And I, I got Anne's like, I'll be your beast. <laughs> and you beastie. She's like, here, you can ride me and then you, we'll play the game and I'll just like be like your horse. So he's like, do you know how to do any of this? No, I don't. And I'll just learn it on the way. So the match starts. And as we know in the past, Anne's very athletic. She's on the tennis team. She loves she loves sports. She's very competitive. So she's not going to be a detriment. She's going to actually really try her best. But the dad like scores right away. And then Anne's like, holy crap. Then she gets like, again, look at this face. I love it. She's like super competitive. We're going to crush that old man. <laughs> I like Wally. It's me dad. Like, it's still my dad. I still love him. I don't want you to hurt him. She's like, I'm sorry. I just get really competitive. So they do their, uh, you know, match. And of course, it goes into the montage mode and everything. And, you know, it's 9-9. Nine, nine, first to 10 wins. So they're on the very last score. The dad misses. It bounces off the thing. And they chase it down. And I thought this was really funny because Wally has like all his little squeeze accordion thing. And that's like something he uses around the house to like calm himself down. And like, it, like that's what he likes. So he hides them everywhere. So there's one hidden in Anne's hair. And I just love, again, another gag. Wally, how long has that been there? Oh, it was season at least. At least a season. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. So he uses it to knock the ball in and it hits that giant mushroom giant explosion. He wins the game. So hooray, I get to live my life the way I want. And you know, a, a victory for me. But the dad is there and he's super sad. He's like, well, I guess you're going to leave now. I'm like, I'm never going to see my son again. And he starts, you know, oh, he's like, no, dad, I don't want to leave. I just want to be me. And I want you to accept me for who I am. Like, you know, how I let you, my life and what way to my life here. You have to accept both versions of me. And, and the dad's like, oh, I guess we can do that. And then he hugs it out and everything. Oh, it's so sweet. And he's like, oh, that accordion was really nice. You know, I used to play the jug. But I stopped playing it a long time ago. And he's like, actually, I still play it. And then I guess he had a bunch of hidden uh, jugs. And then even our Kermit announced, like, oh, that's so sweet. I, I love it. So, you know, they what Anne did was wrong, but I guess it all worked out in the end. So then they play like their little song together. And it's very um rednecky. <laughs> so it's like a accordion and thing. And then it ends on this gag and pff, straight to the credits. <laughs> A, a funny episode. I'm glad uh, we got to see Wally again. Wally was a really cool character to get this other side of him. Very, um, it was surprising because I didn't think that that was going to be a thing, but it was pretty cool. And seeing again, father, son relationship again. I love family stuff. The, the, the family aspect of this show is absolutely amazing. We had that episode with Sprig and Polly getting along together, brother and sister. We got a father, son. I absolutely love this stuff and you know just Wally being himself and and stepping up and you know saying let me help you win this match because I got you in this situation let me help you get out of it so yeah another fun episode um try to squeeze in at least one more episode today for you guys because you know I've been far behind and it's my birthday so let's have a lot of fun all that hipping and hopping was breathtaking oh mother oh <laughs> It's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.